Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Chris Taff, coming back at you with another one of my Ace Combat 7 Ace Guides. On today's guide, we're going to be looking at two airplanes to unlock during this mission, these planes being the Su-37 Terminator and the F-2A. But of course, before I show you the skins, if it's your first time here and you're not subscribed, hit subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I release new guides like this. So the first plane during Operation Giant Step is the Su-37 known as Serpent. For a plane in the Sukhoi series of aircraft, it's pretty awesome with a blue, white and dark blue digital camouflage. The second plane is the F-2A known as Bogan. It's a pretty cool looking skin for the F-16 series of aircraft, much like the same skin for Bayonet, and I quite like the look of this one. So mission 15, the battle for Farbanti. The aircraft I chose to use for this mission is of course the F-22 Raptor, using the XSDB Advanced Small Diameter Bomb with the parts equipped, which I'm not going to name because I just get myself tongue-tied. So if you want to look through these and apply them to your aircraft during this mission, please of course feel free to do so or take a screenshot and use that for later. So of course, when you start the mission, you have three areas which you can attack. The first area is the area to the left of me where you just engage aircraft over your friendly teammates as they're trying to take the bridge. The second place is in the sunken area in which you will be engaging the fleet and then the reconstruction park which you will provide close air support for your friendly teammates trying to capture the enemy headquarters. But more to the exact reason for the video, to unlock Serpent you need to score 20,000 points during the course of this mission so personally, my choice of areas to go for is the support of the friendlies trying to take the bridge first. And then after that, I proceed to the reconstruction park, provide close air support for the teammates. As you can see here, there you go, they're just below me. Um, I then take these out as fast as I can, multitask, use missiles, my small damage bombs, and try and score as many points as possible in this short amount of time as I can. And after that, you of course have to provide air support for the fleet. And so you go engage the fleet as fast as you can. Just multitask as much as you possibly could. And then in a short space of time, you will have amassed 20,000 points. And I will show you where Serpent spawns after you've hit that landmark amount of points. Those of you who have played the mission will know that at a certain point during the mission, you will have to destroy missile boats hiding in the sunken area. So as you can see, I've just got over 20,000 points. Five minutes remaining left of the mission and during the middle of the ocean you can see a plane spawn in this is serpent they will always spawn here and once you get close to them they will of course take evasive action because you are trying to shoot them down so just take this plane down to unlock him and then you will have the skin for that after that what you need to do is continue playing the mission until you reach the area where you have to support your teammates who i did the first time Try to take the bridge and take out the Aegis ashore, which is the big area that I'm flying over now, which contains the anti-aircraft or Sea Whiz miniguns, which will shoot down your missiles. What you have to do is come in low, drop your bombs, and try and take out the main structure, like so. After that, the very same area that Serpent spawned, which is above the ocean, just in the middle, you see his plane spawn in, and then you simply go and take them down. So as you can see, Bogan is there, he spawns in with a wave of aircraft. So you just get close and engage. And there you go, he's destroyed. So since the mission isn't over, I do advise that you go and fulfill the landing sequence and resupply and change your weapons, since you have to complete the mission without dying, of course, and you need to take down Soul Squadron as they appear later on. So, after you've got back in the skies, what you have to do is continue playing, so I have two minutes left, continue playing, have Soul Squadron spawn in, start taking them down, and then of course complete the mission, and wait for the end of the credits. So, now you've completed the mission and preferably not died, in the target destroyed section you can see Serpent and Bogan's names among the dead, and then when you proceed to the next screen it will tell you you have new skins available for both those aircraft. So then, that's it for this one. Hopefully, if you've done it all correct and you've had good luck, you've unlocked both of these. If you join me from the last mission, during Operation Werewolf, we'll be hunting down the SU-47 known as Gadfly, 
and thank you very much. If you haven't seen that, there is a link to that in the top right. And be sure, of course, to subscribe and join me next time where we hunt down the Su-35S during Operation Gorgon. So my friends, that is it for this video. If you, of course, enjoyed it and found it useful, do leave it a like and subscribe. It helps the channel massively. If you have any comments, questions or queries, do put them down below and I will most certainly do my best to answer your queries. So then, that is it for this video, my friends. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a good day wherever you are and happy hunting.